Good afternoon, third grade. Today, we are going to continue with lesson three. We are going to identify polygons. Before we get started, we need to ask our essential question. How can you use line segments and angles to make polygons? Our vocabulary will incorporate some new and old terms. The first one is going to be polygon. Side triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, octagon, and decagon. Now we will have a mnemonic device for this lesson. This is like a saying or a trick and it will help us remember something easily. Our mnemonic device for this lesson will be the queen pays half off. This will stand for triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, and octagon. A polygon is a closed plane shape, and if we remember, plane shapes are flat. And it is also made up of straight line segments, and they meet at endpoints. A side is each line segment in a polygon. A triangle has three sides and three angles. A quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. A pentagon has five sides and five angles. A hexagon has six sides and six angles. An octagon has eight sides and eight angles. A decagon has ten sides and ten angles. Now, let's unlock this problem. A polygon is a closed plane shape that is made up of line segments that meet at their endpoints. Each line segment in a polygon is a side. Which words describe these shapes? How about plane shape? Is our object or our shape flat? The answer is yes. So this is a plane shape. How about open shape? Is our shape open or is it closed? Our shape is closed. And do we have any curved paths? Nope, we do not have any curved paths. Our lines are straight. So since we don't have cur curved paths, we have line segments. Our shape is a polygon because it is closed. It has line segments, and it is a plane shape. Let's unlock this problem. Some traffic signs are in the shape of polygons. A deer crossing sign is in the shape of which polygon? I know this is a polygon because my shape is flat, my sides are straight, and this shape is also closed. I need to figure out how to name this polygon. Well, if I count my sides, I have one, two, three, four. So I have four sides. I know that that is going to be a quadrilateral. So this shape is a quadrilateral. Let's take a look at this shape. It's in the shape of a weird capital D. This shape is not a polygon, but I don't know why it's not a polygon. So let's try to figure this out. Well, to get started, I know that polygons are plain shapes. I know that polygons need to be closed. And I know that polygons need to have line segments, straight line segments. But one thing that polygons should not have are curved paths. So 
my shape is not a polygon because it has curved paths. See this curve right here? That is not a polygon. For this shape, in order for us to figure out what it actually is, we have to find out how many sides and how many angles it has. So first, let's figure out how many sides the shape has. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I know I have six sides. Same thing for angles. Let's figure it out. Let's count them. Two, four, five, six. So I have six angles. Now, what type of polygon has six sides and six angles? If you can't remember, I would flip back in my packet and see what I can figure out. I know that a shape that has six sides and six angles is a hexagon. Okay, so for this shape, it is a polygon, but now we have to dis we have to circle the words that tell us why it's a polygon. So let's start with the easiest task first. How many sides does this shape have? This should be jumping out at, jumping out at you and saying, "I'm a quadrilateral." So we're going to circle that because it has four sides. So if we know it's a quadrilateral, it's definitely not a hexagon, and it's not a pentagon. For our next step, we need to figure out if it's open or if it's closed. And a good way to do that is to start at one point and start tracing. If you end up at that point, it's closed. So I know that this shape is closed. And it's definitely not open if it's closed. My shape does have line segments. And remember, we said line segments were straight line with endpoints on each end. So it has four of them. There are zero curved paths. And my shape is flat, has no thickness, so it's a plain shape. For numbers 8 through 13, I'm going to let you work on your own. Okay, so pause the video, put your answers in, and when you're ready, unpause and check your work. If you're at this point, then that means you're ready to go. So let's take a look. Number eight, is it a polygon? Yes or no? This shape for number eight is not a polygon. Now, the reason why it's not a polygon is because it is round. Polygons are not round. Number nine, polygon, yes or no? The answer to that $64 million question is no. It's not a polygon because it's still open. That's not closed. So that is not a polygon. Number 10. That is a polygon because every, all the uh, line segments are straight, it's closed, and it's flat. So 10 is a polygon. For 11, 12, and 13, we're going to name this polygon by figuring out how, how many sides and angles that each one of them have. So 11, we have four sides four angles. For 12, we have five sides and five angles. And 13, we have 10 sides and 10 angles. So to name these, for 11, we have, it's a quadrilateral. I'm going to write quad because it's kind of hard to write on this. For 12, we have a pentagon. For 13, we have a decagon. Now to recap what we learned about today, a polygon is a closed shape, it is made up of straight line segments, and it is a flat shape. So our polygons we learned about today were a triangle, which has three sides and three angles, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon, octagon, and decagon. Congratulations, third grade. You survived. You made it to the end of the lesson. Make sure your name is on everything, and bring it back tomorrow.